So stretching, one of the things we don't always like to do, but something that's extremely important to do. What you can do and what's really nice with the Total Gym is incorporate some of your stretches throughout your workout. Uh, you can also do this little block of stretches that I'm about to give you as just a cool down routine when you're doing some lower body strength in the exercises. So the first part is you can be with the board closed or open. Place your feet on what we call the strut, right at the bottom edge of the squat stand. And you just sit super tall. Right there, you might feel a stretch all the way through your back of your legs. Adding just a simple hinge forward. Now watch your neck alignment. Push your buttocks back. You're going to feel the lengthening curve, especially in the hamstrings, as well as the calf. If I wanted a little bit more of my calf, sometimes I move my feet a little bit right to the squat stand, and now they're parallel, and I just let my heels drop underneath to get a little bit more of a stretch. Now to add a little bit of a tweak, as we were talking earlier with strengthening, is I can add a rotational element. Now I can just bend the elbow to pull back. I can place my hand on the live board to help myself go a little bit more into rotation. The key is, which I probably already have done, is I lean back to compensate. So you wanna stay upright with your ribs over your hips as you rotate to really feel the stretch in either side of the calf. You can also drop a heel as you add that rotational pattern. You can do an overhead. You're gonna see a theme here, as well as just a forward reach. All these can get the entire back part of the hamstring. So from here, you can straddle. You can go into a nice little hip flexor stretch. So again, the board can be open or closed. Think about lifting the ribs off your hips. Right here, I can already feel my stretch versus kind of lunging into it. You might get a little bit more of the joint irritation. So first lift up, feel the stretch, and then you can add arm reaches. You can alternate back, overhead, side to side, and rotational. So these patterns that I'm reaching overhead or forward, rotational and side to side, that's what we call a triplanar movement pattern. Our body moves always in these three little motions, whether it's very subtly at the ankle or whether it's more obvious as we walk and our hips are rotating or a little bit of side bending as well. That's why you want to stretch in all directions. So moving on, you have the hip flexor. You can also stretch the outer hip by just going into a figure four and then going into a nice squat. Now a lot of times I see people's hips come up and a lot of arching and stress at the neck. I'll tell people then scoot up the board and allow your buttocks to relax down. Flex your foot if you feel any knee strain and then just feel that stretch through the outer part of the hip. Now one of my favorite things to do is to have the same stretch but incorporate the leg pulleys. And I would say the leg pulleys are my saving grace for stretching because they feel really nice and it's a way to get a passive stretch. Meaning that a lot of us would stretch if someone would just stretch us. So, I know my patients and clients like nothing more than when I give them a nice little hamstring stretch or an outer hip stretch. And so this is me having my own personal trainer. By just letting the pulleys pull my legs up, I feel a nice stretch all the way through the back of my legs. I can turn my toes in or out to get a little bit of a tweak. You can drop one leg down, one leg up. You can go to inner thighs. You can get a little deeper stretch with the inner thighs. And then you can also go to that outer hip again. You just cross one ankle on top of the knee and then bend the other knee. And then you can get that nice outer hip stretch. So don't forget to stretch the lower body out. If you're needing one more stretch, just stretch out the front of the calf, or rather the front of the shin. You can always go to a kneeling and let your, toe, your soles of your feet come up and you can just feel a stretch that way. For some, that could be enough. And to also stretch the foot, you can tuck your toes under and just almost go into a kneeling position and you can feel that stretch all along the fascia, the bottom of the foot, which is also a contributing factor sometimes to shin splints.